is good everybody welcome back to another my damn toys video today we're going to be taking a look at the weirdest wwe figures in my collection this is sort of my weird wwe action figure collection on the far far side of my collection there's a little crevice in the earth and that is where all of these figures live and uh, we're going to break them down here today guys most of them are memes on the channel you guys know that we, we we joke about them we talk about them we make you know funny stuff about it all the time and i actually asked you guys you know what was your favorite meme figure on the channel and uh, on the community page yesterday and everybody voted Egghead Finn Balor which I can agree with. I feel like maybe that's because he's the most recent or maybe that's because he's just the most funny. I don't, I don't know. But let's go ahead and dive into it guys. I'm really excited for this video. I love all these figures and they're awesome. So let's go ahead and break them down. So let's start it off with probably one of the first meme figures on my channel guys. I got this from my boy Fig Skip Customs on Instagram and he was a big fan of the channel. I'm not sure if he still watches to this day. If he does then I really appreciate it man. But anyways he sent me some fan mail one day and he knows that I've always thought Trash Corbin was trash and therefore uh, he made me this Trash Corbin elite action figure. So you got an elite Corbin torso up here. He put some basic shoulders and arms on it and then uh, he pretty much just glued his torso to a trash can and he is Trash Corbin. I thought that was hilarious because I deemed uh, Corbin Trash Corbin early on in my YouTube career. You know, uh, It was when Trash Corbin was literally uh, I think he was just just getting started on the in, in the main roster, and I was talking about my thoughts on on Corbin, just calling him trash. And to this day, I still think he's trash. And you know, he he proves it every single night. And here he is again with with his trash can. But I don't know if you guys have noticed, but I don't think he's been on Monday Night Raw for two three weeks in a row now. He might have been on last night, but I didn't see him if if he was. But here he is in all his glory, glory with his trash can, and I love this figure. I think it's hilarious, and I'm very grateful for this figure to be a, a meme here. On the channel trash corbin next up guys we have probably i'm not gonna lie to you i think this is probably my favorite figure in my collection this is my george washington elite figure you guys will see this head sculpt was made by bew and it literally looks just like george washington we used a brett the hitman heart head scan and it works perfectly it just it just captures all the likeness of george you have his ponytail you have his hair on there it's just perfect and then i took a hunter hearst helmsley figure and i put the head scan on there these pants just fit in perfect i put some rick flare boots on it and it just reflects George Washington like if George Washington were to become a wrestler then this is exactly what he would look like and you know it kind of fits that blue blood you know gimmick that, that Hunter Hearst Helmsley was rocking when he first started and it's just so funny I think it's hilarious and I give him the axe because it just throws it over the top I think it's great he's supposed to be holding an American flag too but you know this works anyways and so uh, you know George Washington greatest president of all time the first ever the goat I mean just look at him he's just a beast so we have George Washington and then we we have Teddy Roosevelt, which is right here in the, in the suit, and all three of these head sculpts were made by BEW, so a huge shout out to him. And then we have Abe Lincoln, who I'm still trying to think of an elite formula for. I know it was a long time ago that I showed you guys these, and we talked about the MDT NXT division, but you guys know with the pick fed and everything, I would really love to do a NXT edition of MDT. I'll probably run it on Instagram or something when it finally starts, because just YouTube and making the videos and stuff is really tough. But George Washington here, maybe we'll do like one NXT takeover randomly or something. I'm not sure. But uh, here we go. We have the Founding Fathers. That is their stable name. They're all three in a group together. And the reason this exists is because when I first started MDT Wrestling, it was just going to be a WWE 2K deal. And then I changed it into figures. I said, what if we did figures instead? And then when we were running the WWE 2K, we actually had the Founding Fathers as a tag team. And they were the first ever MDT Tag Team Champions. And they were one of the greatest tag teams, man. They were winning every match they were defeating Batman and Robin and the Power Rangers and they were a really entertaining team and like their matches when you just watched them it was like they were booked for real and they would always come back and win and stuff and so I really enjoyed it me and Brad really enjoyed it so I wanted to you know just tell you guys the quick story here and so I wanted them in figure form so here they are and they are the founding fathers uh, definitely three of my favorite I think this George Washington figure is literally my favorite figure in my collection next up guys we have uh, the, the two opposite egos here we have little E who is a you know MDT Battle Royal Champion, former champion. Everybody hates him. Probably the most hated man in the in the channel. This was sent to me by a fan. I can't remember, but they sent me both of these. I, I so apologize for not remembering who sent it. 
but Big Torito and we have Little E and shout out to whoever made this and uh, it was so funny I unboxed them and we, we talked about it on the channel it's one of the My Name Hauls episodes so if you guys want to go back and find out you know when we got these and I've just been using them as memes ever since so you have Big Torito it's just a head swap between El Torito and Big E and so you switch them so you have Little E and you have because it's a play on Big E but he's smaller obviously and then you have Big Torito which is uh, just a Torito head scan on a Big E body so I thought those were hilarious and uh, Little E is definitely the most hated man on the channel next guys we have selling cigarettes behind the gymnasium Dean Ambrose and this is the reason I say this you're probably like well why the hell do you call him that this doesn't even make sense well if you just listen to me for a second when we first made the switch we made like a John Cena fix up in jeans and to do that we had to swap these lower legs with John Cena and when we did that I went ahead and put the lower legs from the Cena over here while putting the lower pants onto the John Cena and okay Allie just knock over the camera and so when I did that he just looks when I put these shoes on here it looks like he's wearing like those skate shoes you used to see in like 2006 or 7 And then you have uh, just the wife beater shirt with the long jorts on with the Dean Ambrose face. He looks like a middle school bully in that he would just get in trouble and, you know, he'd be a troublemaker and he'd be a bully. And, you know, he, he would just, he looks like he'd sell cigarettes behind the gym or something. Like he would just be a troublemaker kid. So that is why we call him selling cigarettes behind the gymnasium Dean Ambrose. One of the funnier ones of the channel. His feet are really loose. He's really hard to stand up. But nonetheless, I love, I love selling cigarettes behind the gymnasium Dean Ambrose. He, he, he's a funny one. One. Next up, guys, we have probably one of the most uh, iconic members of the channel. We got, uh, we made this the other day. It's the Egghead Finn Balor. You guys know I did a tutorial. If you guys missed it, definitely go check it out on the channel. We made a Finn Balor head sculpt, and we showed you how to make any WWE action figure in your collection bald. And we chose Finn Balor to do that video for, and he is bald now. Look at him. I mean, he's a perfect Egghead. He looks hilarious. And he's a meme of the channel now. We have Egghead Finn Balor, and uh, I've seen people, like, posting him again across Instagram. It's really funny. I appreciate you guys. When you guys guys do stuff like that it's really hilarious and stuff so I appreciate it when you make uh, you know you make little pictures I think it'd be funny if he were to repost it if Finn Balor reposted Egghead Finn Balor I think I'd lose my mind but there is Egghead Finn Balor had to make him a meme of the channel there um, instant success for him next up guys we have Jason Statham and I know this isn't Jason Statham it just kind of looks like him uh, it's a custom Cesaro or it's not really a custom Cesaro it's a Dean Ambrose basic with a Cesaro head sculpt on there somebody sent me this with the Cesaro head sculpt on the Dean Ambrose body and I just randomly called him Jason Statham and then uh, the meme was born and then like uh, I plugged in like a video of a Jason Statham movie where uh, Jason Statham like says how the F did he know my name and uh, he, he does look like Jason Statham I mean it's it's pretty hard not to say he doesn't look like Jason Statham especially on this body I mean probably the hand tape probably is unnecessary but nonetheless it looks like Jason Statham and I still like this figure and it's funny so Jason Statham custom figure uh, he's been a part of a few battle royals himself and the last figure that we have guys is an elite custom Santa Claus you guys know I got this for the MDT Christmas video I've custom made his clothes and they look god awful they don't look good by any stretch of the imagination however um, I think Santa Claus is hilarious much like you know the founding fathers and stuff I had to include Santa Claus I took a Braun Strowman head sculpt and I just painted all his hair white added some gray touches and uh, put a Christmas jacket on there glued some fur to it gave him some pants and boom there you go you got a Santa Claus elite action figure and I think it's so funny you know he almost won the MDT Battle Royal a few times now he's came up short against Grinch Finn Balor came up short against Egghead Finn Balor and Kevin Owens uh, uh, in the most recent one, and I don't know, man. Santa Claus, really funny figure. Um, I think that is it, though, for all of the figures. I can't remember. I'm trying to think. I feel like there was more meme figures, but I couldn't think of them. If you guys could think of them, I would love to know down in the comment section below. Please let me know down in the comment section below if I forgot any. I would love to know, you know, if we left any out here because, you know, that would be that would be sad if I left out any of the meme figures because you want to include all of them. I want to include all the jokes and stuff like that. I know we have some other memes like, uh, like just different gifts and things of that nature. You guys know how we'll uh, we'll plug in like me diving in the yard. I know I haven't done it in a while, but we have that one meme of me going kick and then falling in the yard. Kick! And then we have the video of me. Uh, there was something else. I can't remember. Oh, yeah, the, the MDT logo getting bashed in the head with a guitar and then uh, getting kicked in the nuts and stuff like that. We've done that before. But uh, I would love to know down in the comment section below, guys, who is your favorite meme figure on the channel? I know I posted it up on the community tab, which one was the best or whatever, but I would love to know your favorite. Which one's the funniest? Which one do you think is the most iconic? I would love to know down in the comment section.
comment section below. You know, Trash Corbin is the OG, but I think my favorite is George Washington. I think that's so unique. I don't think anybody else has a George Washington figure, and I really want to make like a... Uh, somebody told me to make a meme. Uh, I can't remember who it was either, but they, they said to make a meme shelf, and I think I should. I think I should make like a small little shelf in the corner, put all the memes on it, put all the custom characters on there, and I think it will be awesome. But that is going to do it for today's video, guys. Thank you so very much for watching, and let me know again down in the comment section below which one is your favorite. I would love to know. Take a tally vote on it. See who wins. And maybe one day we should do like a battle royal for all of them and see who is the greatest meme. I think that would maybe make the meme championship. That would be entertaining as well. I don't know. Let me know down in the comment section below, to, guys, what you think about that. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at MyDamnToys, and I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.